Hello, very often you will have two or more versions for the same project. So let me show you how can you compare them. Here you will see that I have project, which is saved as project one version one, and I have four tasks, task one, two, three, and four, and they are one, two, three, and four days, uh, they have duration, and for task one, I have John, for task two, Mary, for task three, Peter, for task four, Paula. Okay, now I will save that, I will close that, and I will open the second project. You will see here, let me get rid of timeline, that I have my project one, version two. In this one, I have task one, I don't have task two, I have task three, which is five days duration, I have task four, which is four day duration, but I changed uh, task mode from automatically to manual, and I add a task five. And I get rid of Mary, because Mary left the company, and I assign all my resources, John, Angela, Peter, and Paula, to all of tasks. And I, now I want to compare those two projects. I should go to report and I should go to compare project. And now I will browse for the project which I want to compare. Version one, of course, because currently I'm in version two. And I can uh, uh, choose which task table and resource tables do I want to compare. Uh, example, and you can then afterwards try it with other tables. I will uh, stick with entry table. And I will click on OK. And you will see some dancing here, dancing, dancing, dancing. And after quite time, I will get final result. Final result is going to be like this one. So you can see here that I have here different names in previous version. In pro here, my version 2 has name project 2, but here, uh, uh, but here I have my version, pro my project version two in current version, and my project version one in previous version. So the name is uh, uh, different. Then you will see plus means that task is added in a new version, and minus means that task uh, exists only in previous version. So let's go task by task. Task one is same in both versions, both in uh, current, in previous uh, version, task mode is same, auto schedule, so difference is equal. Duration in current version is one day, in previous version was one day, so duration difference is zero. So it is a start uh, date and uh, finish date, so finish duration and start, uh, uh, finish difference and start difference in duration is zero. For task two, task two existed only in, uh, in previous version. So in current version, I don't have mode. In previous version, it was auto schedule mode. In current version, I don't have that task, so I don't have duration. In previous version, it was two days. Duration difference is uh, blank because it doesn't exist in current version, etc. etc. For task three, both schedules are same, but duration in, in current project is five days, in previous project is, uh, was three days, so different in duration is two days. And also, start in current date, start and finish. Uh, be first because I have different predecessors for current version and for previous version. So duration difference is two days, start difference is minus two days, means that in current version, task will start two days earlier than in the previous version, and it will finish on the same day. Okay, because finish in current and previous version uh, well, uh, are same. On task four, you can see that I had in the current version, I have in current version that it's manual schedule task. In previous version, it was auto schedule task, and it is different. 
duration is same, so is start and finish day. And last but not least, task five is added to new version, so it has auto schedule mode in current version. It didn't exist in previous version, so uh, uh, duration didn't exist, etc., etc. So this is great tool if you want to see the difference between two versions. I can go here and I can go to resource compilation. And now I will see that I have John, Angela, Paul, and Peter, and they are equal in, uh, in uh, uh, the current project for John and Peter and Paula, but Angel has different name because I renamed Mary to Angela, okay? And if I go here to, uh, uh, if I want to see only differences, okay, I will see that Angela differs. If I go to task operation, I don't want to see all items, but only all differences. And I will see only, okay, here task operation, task one, three, four, and five, task one, two, three, and I will see which, uh, uh, which tasks are different. Okay, I don't see all items. So it's great tool. Now, if I go to close, and if I go to close here, I can close that and I can go back to my uh, uh, pre uh, current version. And so I can save this. If I go here, for example, I want to edit, uh, a Microsoft project will ask me if I want to save changes to composition report. If I say yes, I, can, I will to reuse it. If I say no, I will not uh, reuse it. And for this purpose, I will not save it because it's only uh, uh, this purpose is only to show you what, how to see differences in multiple versions in Microsoft Project Online. And guys, this is very, very useful tool. Take some time, play with it, and you will see that you can find a lot of useful information. Hope this helps. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.